Hybrid Lighting. Discover Mirrorless recommends the LED hybrid lighting solution from Quantum called the Omicron. Omicron. Hi there, it's Marlene Hilema from discovermirrorless.com and in this video blog post I'm going to be talking about using LED lights for event photography. Now us hybrid photographers are all gung-ho about these LED lights. In fact, I'm using LED lights right now. I have a panel on this side of me and I have a panel sort of 45 degrees in front of me. I've been using these for about a year and a half now and I started using them actually before they became popular. I have no idea if they're good quality or anything, but you know what? They work for me. I do custom white balance. Usually I get pretty decent quality stuff out of them. But what about for event photography? What if you have clients that want you to shoot stills and video at their events? Now, if the event is outside, no problem. And typically by events, I mean where you're doing like a corporate party or maybe even a wedding where you're taking two shots, you know, people standing together, close-ups, things like that. Um, I typically shoot my events that way. I, you know, introduce myself, jolly them up, say, hey, I'm working for the event organizer. Do you mind a couple of shots? And I'm in and out in 30 seconds. But with LED, you kind of have this big thing in the way. Let me show you. So I might show up at a party with one of these camera mounted LEDs. And let's just say I come up to you and I say, hey, my name's Marlene. I'm shooting for the event organizer. Do you mind if I take your shot? And they go, sure. And then you do this to them. Not nice. In fact, what I found is that children run away. Every time I pull this thing out, my niece and nephew, they hide because you know what? It's too bright for them. Hi, Sean. Should we take your picture? How about a light? Let's put that light on. Oh, it's so bright. If you have this problem, you have a couple of options. One, use a flash. Now here's the thing with flash. If you're shooting hybrid, it won't work out so well. But if you're just shooting stills, I actually do prefer a flash. I find it's smaller, lighter, easier to use. People are used to it. So there's a couple things you can do. You can get an assistant to help you and your assistant can hold the light above your subject so that you can get a great shot. Now your subject won't be looking directly at the light, but you know, get them to hold it up and out of the way. So if you really need to shoot hybrid and you really need an LED, another option is to get a bracket. Now this bracket holds your LED light higher up and you can even angle it down a little bit at your subject. Now the only thing is that sometimes it's hard to operate all the controls because you just have one hand left to work with. So you might want to put the bracket on the other side depending on you know how you're used to holding your camera. This particular camera has a, one of those super zooms so I can actually operate it from this side um, and I don't have to worry about um, zooming manually. But my GH3, well, I like to hold it the other way around like this. But once you get your focal length, you're good. You can uh, have access to your video button and your stills button right here with your right hand. So if you have to absolutely shoot hybrid and you're indoors and you need a light, try using a bracket. And hopefully the kids won't run away from you. Thanks for watching. It's Marlene Hilema from discovermirrorless.com. Don't forget to sign up for our updates. See you next time. Hybrid Lighting. Discover Mirrorless recommends the LED hybrid lighting solution from Quantum called the Omicron. Omicron.